apparently they weren't actually on sales like these guys deceived us the one time i tried this I want to quickly eat some so I'm super happy so see look at my room and I still have some outside I just guys I made to you I'll register that you said hi on my channel and guys i made to you yesterday i made to you last night i just wanted to show you guys my skills <laughs> this tea is so sweet but now i was pressing myself that's a five material in the last vlog i'm sorry see what i did <laughs> babe like i was cooking rice last night see see i burnt it Thank God for the smoke alarm, oh. honestly. Thank God for the smoke <laughs> alarm. The, the smoke alarm went on. <laughs> so the smoke alarm that made me, like I hear it, I will now run to the kitchen. The rice has burnt there. Eh? So I got this bread yes, uh, a few days ago. I went to the African store and then I got this bread um, at Yege. It actually tastes so good. And I wanted to ask, who takes, who else does this combo? Like avocado and bread like oh my gosh like i did it a lot when i was growing up so i still do it <laughs> so this avocado is ripe very ripe and very sweet actually so i'm going to take it with this because i'm just coming back from church just coming back from church and um i'm just like okay let me start a new vlog now because i'll get up to a couple of things this week that i would love you guys to you know be a part of I know what you been through, been through. I know what you like, I know what you like. I know you about it, about been going at it, at it for a minute or two. Yeah, yeah. Darling, you got the sweetest heart, and I don't want it to break. That frown on your face got me hurting. I'm afraid it's too late. Spring brings flowers, but they all dried up. Hi guys, so I'm super happy. Whoa, I'm super happy. Like I'm just coming back from school. I did like very little makeup today because today I had a presentation, like my final presentation for the semester. Actually today, and I'm really excited. Like oh my god, like it feels good knowing that I'm close. Like I'm getting closer to like actually finishing my program really soon by the special grace of the Almighty God, who I serve and love. <laughs> yes, like I really, really, really was so happy today, like to do my final presentation. So like I would usually take two courses every semester, right? So as a master student, I think in the whole of Canada, you actually allowed to be not allowed you actually expected to take just two courses every semester if you have to take more than two which can only be three though you need a permission to do that so i only take two courses each semester i don't know if that makes sense i did the presentation for one of my courses which is like the final presentation so oftentimes my assignment is like I might have the first assignment, depending on the professor anyways. I might have first assignment, then I will have a presentation, and then I will have my final paper. But this particular professor made us have two presentations. So I had two presentations for this particular class. Yeah, so I had two presentations and I had how many assignments now? I had one assignment, one like one essay, and then I have my final paper, which like an actual research analytical paper. So I'm already working on that. I'm going to submit that in a couple of days, but I'm really happy. Like I am almost done. For my second course as well, I'm done with the presentation and done with the first essay for the the course. It's just for the final paper. Like no 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 no. I'm so happy too. This is actually two noons. I want to quickly eat something you guys forgive that 
I want to quickly eat something because um, I'm super hungry. Let me keep you guys somewhere here. Yep, so I want to quickly fix something to eat, like because each time any day I'm going to school and I'm not staying in school for long hours, maybe if I'm coming back at noon, I would usually skip breakfast, which is very bad. I would usually skip breakfast and eat when I get back. So right now, I'm so hungry, like I've not had food. Wow, and my makeup is still feeling so intact. Woo! Good. So, I just wanted to really look good for my final presentation. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I think I achieved that. So I'm trying to like dish some rice for myself. I made um, I made stew a few days ago. I eat tomato stew. Myself and Yamisi. Myself and Yamisi went to No Fears a couple of days back. I wasn't even going to shop anything. I just wanted to pick one stuff there. But yeah, me see, use the spirit. But yeah, me see's charm caught me because when she started buying tomatoes, I'm like, ah, let me buy two. And then I bought one particular fish that she used to make this stew she gave me the last time I went to her house. And I love that fish, so I bought it too. I use it for this stew now. So I want to quickly microwave this rice and eat it. Because man, I'm so hungry. Oh, thank you, Jesus. It's been a day. So this is it. This is what it looks like. I'm going to put in the microwave now. I had to turn off that microwave. It makes a lot of noise because I just wanted to talk to you guys briefly. Meanwhile, on my way back, I went to Bianca Amo. If you watched my vlog a while, three or four vlogs ago, I think. I think it's three vlogs so four or five. I don't even know. <laughs> if you watch that vlog, like I went to Bianca Amor. So some things that I got, I returned, not like one item, I actually returned it today and I picked this stuff. But there's a background story to it because I returned that stuff two weeks ago. I went to return it two weeks ago, but I couldn't find my receipt. I just went there with the hope that they would take it, but they didn't. So if you're shopping from any store in Canada, just know that most of them but let me just speak for um bianca amor which is a liquidation store so most of them would actually give you like one month grace to return and the same applied to um bianca amor so they told me to return in one month but i went there hoping that okay fine i can't find my receipt can you guys help me and they said no i took it back it's a clothes i felt like it was too big for me so i was like ah what will i do with this i know that i normally keep my receipts like i don't um trash my receipts i normally keep them because i know that those liquidation stores i always have tendencies to return stuff so i couldn't find the receipt like i i normally keep it in one particular um spot in the car so i couldn't find it in the car i was like ah where is this thing so yesterday i was just going through my mind just said okay i should check the bag that i used that day that i went there and i checked the bag i found the receipt in the bag and i'm like okay that is a good one so but the crazy thing is like it clocked one month yesterday you guys get so one month a day so i went there today i was like oh i returned this a while ago but because i didn't have the receipt but i found it yesterday and they shall pardon me but they were like oh they don't do that they're going to do it for me just for this once that they won't do it again if i ever have that experience so yeah i was so glad so what i bought the clothes or the it's like um it's like a, a thick sweater kind of a thick sweater kind of material so it was like around seven dollars something so i didn't know what to pick <laughs> i don't need clothes anymore so i didn't know what to pick so i now pick this stuff now I picked a popcorn. This is actually my favorite popcorn. This one. Like I got it a lot from Superstore. And me and Choma we just finished it before. <laughs> we even know it. So I also bought this other popcorn. This one that says um boom chica pop. I don't know. Boom chica pop. So I got this one just because I like to try new stuff sometimes. So let's try it and see if it's good. Then I also bought this cinnamon toast crunch. Um, it's actually a cake mix you guys it's actually a cake mix so i was like okay let me buy it i'll use it and make cake i'll show you guys <laughs> see how it comes out so those are the things i had to use the seven dollars to pick 
if you're buying anything groceries from the liquidation store make sure you are checking the expiring dates honestly because some of them might be close to expiring but these ones are still very good they are even they even expire next year 2024 so guys while the food is in the microwave i wanted to do a haul today um is it like a haul i don't think it's a haul it's not like a haul i think a haul is when you are actually maybe reviewing products from brand i don't know if i might be wrong but it's not a haul i just want to show you guys some of my outfits some of the things i bought recently and also to like recommend stores where you can buy really good affordable clothes okay because me i like good things but i also find a way to save while i'm on that so i got a couple of stuff from stores that i'm going to show you guys once i finish eating I also went for a couple of Black Friday sales, okay? I went with Yamisi. So we just did, I, I know she must have done a lot of, she must have uploaded her haul because she really shopped a lot in this Black Friday and she got things that are like good deals. But I got mostly clothes because I think that's currently what I need being that I'm starting my winter um, job soon. I'm so excited about that job for you guys i'll get into that soon okay so i'll just be showing you guys some of the items i got during the black friday sales which was like um a few days ago and also some items that i've bought like i just kept it i was like i'm going to share show you guys but i've just haven't had the time i'm like okay i'm just going to share do everything at once in this video so let me just eat and i'll be back to kind of chat more with you guys okay gosh who else is like me i actually love eating in a bowl like just put the food in a bowl like big bowl like this and put the stew on top of it like i just live for it i don't know it's as if the food is sweeter that way i don't know why Hey babies. Okay guys, so we are done eating. This cheese is nice, like laughing you guys okay i know you've been wondering if this is coming from c c all these things are clothes and i have this um pattern here they are all clothes i still have some and these are new clothes but i have an explanation i, I can explain okay me i like cheap things so what i do is that i buy clothes from thrift stores like i can buy clothes like a mad person so backstory since i got this internship offer like i be so gassed up guys and my friends are like calm down calm down it's not that good i'm like yes yeah, so leave it for me if it's not that sweet let me do it let me you guys do you know why the reason why i'm like this okay let me get you guys into my life a bit before i moved to canada prior to moving to canada i had never worked for anybody in fact the one time i tried it i only worked for four days and i disappeared i thought i'm sorry i can't like i, I can't do this so professionally actually when i was in nigeria i will get to the reason why i'm telling you guys this gist before the haul okay so when i was in nigeria professionally i was into communications like i was a communication lead for a particular organization that i worked with but it was an agency for ncc if you're in nigeria you know ncc sharp nigerian communications commission so that was an agency for them so we 
kind of like carried out project contracts for them so i was a communications lead for that organization but it was chill because I didn't need to wake up every morning to go to work like i only had to execute the tax when we have a contract just had to coordinate it call the editors and all those stuff so i was in that thing part time before i moved here i loved it so when i was like okay let me try and get a stable job build a career be a career <laughs> a career babe <laughs> do you know why i'm laughing four days i only went there four days i told the mother i'm like i'm sorry i cannot do this I cannot like it's not even funny like now that I'm talking about it it's funny but then it was not funny yo, because I wake up so early go and even the amount they were willing to pay was not even worth it but I was just trying to share my mom was like oh experience would be good oh yeah now get it oh, man I tried I ran so when I stopped that 9 to 5 I was like nah if I'm going to be in this Nigeria business has to be a way out for me so I started my businesses I had a perfume business scent junkie I had um, a fit Business, business where I sold detox teas. I had um, the goal was actually Havila Fitness. The goal was to go big with Havila, like to even have like fitness um, wears for Havila, like really branded. Though, like ah, uh, I carried the business for my head. Then there was a pouch I used to put some of my things when I was packing. I was like telling you guys that this is for my business. Yes, I had a business called Havila Fitness. It shared like fitness, weight loss stuff that I was doing with that business. And then I had eventually decided to go to an interior design school. I'm just like getting you guys. So you guys will probably even know me better. So I decided to go to an interior design school because I just loved interior designs. As at that point, I loved interiors and photography. But I was like, you see, photograph, maybe I can learn it online. But interiors, I really needed to get like the ground skills so i went to an interior design school i graduated i became an interior designer i was actually like doing just launching into the field and actually doing well before i left nigeria i cannot even forget it. that i got my visa i was just stepping out from a site oh my gosh yeah memories i was stepping out from a site so those were the things i was doing in nigeria so i've tried to work before it did not work for me i did not try it again i just respected myself as state so now that i got this internship this internship is like a career based stuff now you go to work every morning 8 a.m come back at almost five my friends are like calm down but i'm like see you push you just People should just allow me to enjoy this moment. Nobody should kill it for me. So I'm a bit excited for weird reasons. Knowing that I tried this before and I ran away. But this one, I don't even have a choice. No running away because this is Canada. Mm. Cannot just run away. They will just be like, ah, all the contract is signed, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, so I'm just so gassed up and I've been shopping. But you guys, the reason why I've been buying clothes is not just because I just want to shop. No, but because I shop like because i've just been here for this is my second winter here right but my first winter was like a novice kind of winter period i had just one winter jacket you know one winter boots like just you navigating like that was just few months after i came here but now i've been in canada for um, at least 16 months right so i'm a lot more settled so now i'm like okay fine i'm going to get more winter stuff that kind of fits my style and i've actually been like trying to figure out my style since i moved to canada no cap like trying to figure out my style so i'm gradually figuring out my style here so i was like oh you know what you are going to shop and i was like no if i go online and shop like if you even buy things of 300 dollars might not be enough so i was like i'm going to go to three stores <laughs> I'm going to go to thrift stores. So everything you guys are seeing here are from thrift stores and I'm going to try and do a try on haul for you guys for just a few of the items, not all, okay? Everything in here, everything is in here is from a thrift store called Salvation Army, all right? It's a thrift store, right? It's owned by, the, by a church, I believe, so yep. And I also got stuff too from Crazy Bean and um, bianca but most of the stuff you guys are going to see here are from um salvation army then this one's from urban planet and i have an excuse you guys would wonder oh why do you always shop from urban planet yes because i'm in regina there is no other place to shop from for, for real like we don't have zara we have h&m but i mean i can't go to h&m and buy like it's a bit pricey dead too right they don't have zara and maybe some of these um brands that you can really afford you know because so my planet always happens to be my best bet so i went there for uh black um 
because I'm there for Black Friday sales. Although I had the mind the things I wanted to pick from Urban Planet and I got them because prior to picking these things from Urban Planet, I already did this shopping and salvation army. So, guys, end of my story. Let's get into trying out some of the outfits. So if you are a new immigrant here and you're looking for stores to get stuff, brand new stuff, Urban Planet is not so bad, but you know, their, their stuff can have like really a bit of like low quality, just have that at the back of your mind, like it's not the best quality out there. But also because I'm a seasonal shopper, like I almost shop every season because I'm still settling. So I'm still trying to find things that work for me and I don't want to spend money on like, um, I don't want to spend money on ex expensive clothing. I don't even have the money to spend on expensive clothing, even if I wanted to. So we are going to stick with this one. And the reason why I love shopping from Urban Planet is that I can test what I'm wearing. How do people shop online? I'm never satisfied with online shopping, like for clothes and wears. Like, I like to see what I'm wearing. Test it on, feel it, feel good, feel the texture, feel the material. Just feel everything before I buy it. Let's change into this black tank top that I got also from Salvation Army. It's a Zara top actually, so that we can try some of the stuff. So, but first of all, I got this boot. This is the first item I'm going to be showing you guys. I got this boot from Urban Planet. So I got this boot for how much now? I got it for $25. I got this boot for $25. Like, I feel like it's going to come in handy for my... Uh, internship time like i want to kill them in that office they're going to be like what is this girl when my friends see this video they'll be like you go tired you got this up and down joggers from urban planet i'm going to try it on now but one thing about urban planet joggers is like it doesn't really last okay i bought joggers from them before but i love this one i love how it fits me and i had to match them they didn't come together I got the trouser for about 20 for 20 dollars yes and i got this one for 25 um dollars so that's like 45 for the both of them tell me what you guys think i like it i really really do love it i feel like it's just perfect on my body so the next item i got from urban planet would be these jackets okay this one is is leather i'm gonna try it on now they are just basic and necessary piece for my wardrobe so i can just style things around so you guys can see this jacket i really love it like and i got it in a size small okay because i would wear medium but i had to go for a size small because i wanted it to fit have a small fitting on me so let's try the second jacket so Apparently, they were actually on sales. Like, these guys deceived us. They told us they had sales. But when I got the, everything I picked, it almost wasn't on sales. Like, this joggers wasn't on sales. Because this one, I got it for 40 I got it for $40. Like, they didn't remove anything. So, I also got this puff ja puffer jacket. Okay, I also got this puffer jacket just because I feel like it's a staple. Let me show you guys from the mirror. I haven't had a puffer short jacket before so i went all out this time <laughs> the rest of the stuff i have here from urban planet are like tops these tops i got for 99 dollars they were not even on sales i don't know what they were doing <laughs> this active wear i have a short that is this color i can wear to the gym i bought it in medium and it's for nine dollars as well so these are the ones that okay i also bought this one this is actually going to be the only red I have in my wardrobe because I'm not a fan of red. I don't wear red. There's also one green um, hoodie that I bought. But that hoodie, I wore it to church on Sunday. So I don't th think it's here right now. I must have missed it up somewhere. So yeah. So these are the only things that they had on sales. They sold this for $20 and get one for $1. So this literally was the only stuff I got on sales. End of the day, my total came down to $20 and $27. I'm like, I had to tell the lady, please do it again. Do it again. But at the end, I just had to take them because like I felt like the piece were just so beautiful. I'm going to show you guys things I got from Salvation Army. I know that Salvation Army is almost in every part of Canada, I believe. Okay. So just search for Salvation Army wherever you are in Canada. I'm pretty sure you'll find them and 
they sell they what i love about them compared to other thrift stores that i've bought stuff from especially wears right is is that they have like really good ones like everything i got from them let me not say everything 70 percent of what i got from them had tags on them and they were from zara guys like i think i won this trench coat in a vlog and it's from them i love it i love the color i love everything about this trench trench coat you already know that trench coat is a staple right so yep i really love it the back is actually what is so pretty like i can show you guys that what am i bending like i have one back i got it for 23 dollars like got it for 39 i got it for 34.99 it's actually from zara the original price is 259 dollars i don't even know if this is in usd if i style this <laughs> i'm gonna look like i have a million bucks in my account when i have nada so yeah i really love this jacket like it has a pocket here what is this giving like rich young and getting it oh my gosh <laughs> i really love it like i do I really another jacket that i got from them is this one is also from zara can you guys see how beautiful this is really love it like it's so gorgeous honestly i also got blazers if you guys know beige and brown and black are like my favorite colors so this is also from zara you know it's also from zara and uh, i got it for 15 dollars for 15 dollars i think i got it in two colors i actually got it in three i have it in i got it in black this color and i think beige i don't know but yes i absolutely love it i also got one jean too and it's actually from zara as well a skinny jean it's also zara it's also Zara. I got lots of pants. I got this shirt. It's also from Zara. I do not like to do anything try on hauls or hauls or anything like that because that stuff is stressful. Like people that do it, see, I'm already looking like a crazy person. Like, oh, my hair is so messed up. So yeah, guys. So that is the end, though. Like, I couldn't really show you guys the things the way I wanted because, like. I don't know how to do this try and haul stuff and I felt like I didn't want this video to be too long which is already too long anyways but bear, bear with me so those are the things I got but the major intent of showing you guys these things is just to share my excitement <laughs> me see I know that me I'll come back here to complain when they will start stressing me in that work I'll come back here and complain I trust myself but for the meantime please please let me enjoy it getting ready for my internship and um because i also want to plug you guys onto good stuff honestly like if you're in regina check out salvation army the one in dridney avenue right yes the one in dridney avenue like i think they currently even still have a lot of this brand new stuff because some of my friends have visited from moose jaw couple of about a week ago yeah i took them there and we still found like really nice stuff for them so explore that if you are not in regina look out for that store salvation army i'm going to put it on the screen look out for this store on um um just google it and see if it's around you honestly you're going to find really nice good deals there and it's even very sweet for students like us that you know we want to save money all right guys so thank you guys so much for watching this vlog that is so scattered and i don't even know so thank you guys so much for watching i'm tired i'm taking milk to cool myself because this was a walk indeed so see look at my room and i still have some outside so i'm just going to rearrange my wardrobe and like get this thing to fit into my wardrobe and um hi hi guys this is lauren <laughs> lauren is a youtuber too we just finished shooting a youtube video a sit down video you guys should have seen that video already so i'm currently in moose jaw and where's the time jesus it's like 5.39 p.m. 5.30 mm -hmm. and it's so dark. It's very dark. Like, Guys. It looks like 10 p.m. I'm going back to Regina and I just wanted to say hi with Lauren. <laughs> Guys, 
I look so exposed, but because I'm facing the lights. Can you guys hear me? Like this mic is not picking the sound the way I want. So I don't know if I spoke to you guys. So I came to Moose Jaw. Uh, you guys know I have a friend that stays in Moose Jaw. So and she's also a YouTuber, okay? I shot a video with her or them. Like I have two friends here. So I shot a video with them. I drove from Regina to come shoot that video because we are taking this YouTube seriously. So you guys should encourage me by watching, liking and commenting, sharing. I know that my videos will be so good for people that are moving to Canada. Please, my loves, I love you. Love me back by sharing my videos. So I just finished. This is currently, hold on. I have to check the time now. This is currently 6.04. Currently 6.04. So I want to start driving back to Regina. Like I've not driven at night. I don't even know how my light works at night. So I'm so nervous, okay? But I want to start driving back to Regina right now so i just wanted to talk to you guys because i'm like oh i didn't talk to you guys so you know so i came here and came helped me to weave my hair to relax my hair and control it so i want to start heading home now i was hoping my friend to transfer their videos because we shot with my camera so that's why i'm still here lauren has left it's just me kem is already sleeping so i'm going to be heading back home soon hope i don't forget anything oh my camera is charging here i'm going to show you guys how dark it is like my battery rather is charging can you guys see like look at the door i mean look this is a window but it's now turning to casting shadow like i can now see myself it's very that this is just six this is just six p.m and this this dark these are my scattered of life had my makeup exactly my makeup here my change of hair and everything i also get came with my ring lights i'm going to put everything now in the car and i'll talk to you guys whenever i get to talk to you guys okay i'm um, signing out bye two thousand years later guys <laughs> guys so ignore the way i look now because i know i look yellow because i'm using the yellow ball <laughs> 15 minutes later, I am home. And one thing about me is that when I go out, I must unpack everything and put everything back into where they're supposed to be. So I'm already trying to like put everything away because I'm going to work tomorrow. I'm already boring rice. Okay, guys, I'm boring rice because I'm super hungry. I ate rice earlier at Christie's, but I didn't eat anything again. So and a lot of energy. We shot like five videos and I was in the five of them because we shot like three for my channel and two for each of their channels, like one, one for each of their channels. Like it was very stressful and I'm so tired. I'm even very glad I don't have like a very weird headache that I would normally have when I talk for so long. So that is good. And so I just want to, you know, end this vlog and you know hope you guys enjoyed this one and uh i'll see you guys in my next video which i don't know when <laughs> okay guys take care and where missy is here i don't know if she would want to show her face she's here she's making her hair so when she's done braiding her hair my trauma is making her hair so when they are done i'll just drop her off but meanwhile i'm just going to put everything away eat and maybe take a shower before she finishes but i'll go shower i'll shower help them to be completing the braids you know this drive was like 15 minutes i was legit scared the highway like gosh driving that late but i did it like i didn't do it god did it with me because like holy spirit was obviously by my side driving oh gosh but i was really scared like this most like scary drive i've ever had to go on because it was so dark oh gosh for 15 minutes running there like i was just playing my gospel music and just firing it and just trusting god to bring me back safely and he did okay i'll talk to you guys in my next vlog bye bye